and welcome back to Cooking with Our Wives. This is the Super Bowl Sunday edition, and I believe we will be making biscuits today. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Plain biscuits? They're called butter biscuits. Butter biscuits. Okay. So, when making a pastry dough, is it important to use room temperature butter, melted butter, or cold butter, and why? <laughs> Oh. I'm pretty sure room temperature, room temperature butter because it will um, mesh with the flour better, I believe. Mesh with the flour better. Yes, like everything will become incorporated better. Okay. Is she correct? Uh, no, she is definitely wrong. Okay, so then we're gonna go with cold butter. <laughs> and why? Because cold butter makes the flour adhere to it better, oh, making it more delicious. <laughs> Okay, so we have a recipe for butter biscuits. We need one stick of butter, two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, four teaspoons of granulated sugar, four teaspoons of baking powder, two teaspoons of kosher salt, and one and three-fourths cup of butter. So we need flour and sugar. Yes. Gotta speak up. Okay, and we flour need, and sugar. Do we need to mix this by hand or in a... Uh, I haven't gotten that far. Yes. I can't hear Gabe louder than them. Flour and sugar. You can what? Oh, Gabe's Gabe. louder than you. Okay. So we may need... In a microwave bowl, melt the stick of butter. Okay. You can do that. So melted butter. So typically you want to use... Oh, once oh, butter okay. is melted, just make sure it ends up in the prepped... Pan. Okay, so you put it in there then. Okay. You melt it and then put it in there. Um, no, let's do it in a different bowl. Okay. Microwave. <coughs> do it in there. Okay. So melt that. I would start with 30 seconds on there. Okay, then in a medium bowl, mix flour, sugar, baking powder, and salt. Okay, medium bowl. Bowl. Um, oh. Flour, sugar, baking powder, and salt. Alright. So you should be delicious. The half. What did I say? Two and a half. Oh. One. One and a half. Two, two and a half. Okay. Okay. Then we need to do sugar. Four teaspoons of granulated. That's perfect. Look at that. Is that consistency. Nice melted butter. Four teaspoons of sugar. I think with the chili we're having on Super Bowl Sunday, these biscuits are going to be nice and comfy. Three and four. Okay. Mom, can I make this video more fun? Hold on. No. Hold on. Baking powder and salt. How much baking powder? Four teaspoons. Right. So here you go. Okay. And two teaspoons of salt. So this lid comes off then, Mark. Okay. One, four of that, and two of that. Two. Okay, three. then we're going to. How much salt? Let me go. Two teaspoons of salt. Two teaspoons of salt. It did say kosher salt. That's but okay. We're, we're using that. regular. Nice substitute when you don't okay. have kosher salt on hand. We would know. You would okay. butter is the butter ready to go in? No, not in there. The oh. butter goes in that dish. Ooh. Okay, so it just says mix this. I'm just mixing okay. with a fork. Okay. Now we're gonna need buttermilk, which butter is right here. Okay. Let me see how much. Where are we putting that in? In there. Dry yes. mixture. To make it a soft you dough. You said I'm used to wet mixture, dry mixture, but okay. How it says much? pour in milk and stir until it forms a loose, sticky dough. How much of them, Barbara? One and three quarters cup. One and three quarters cup. So, so I have another one. Okay. Here you go. Okay. So, oh, perfect. Oh, this is lovely. Okay, so, one and a half, one and three quarters. Okay. 
So we're just going to go one and a half, shy of two cups is three quarters. Okay. We'll pour that in. That's yep. great that measuring right there. Okay, and then what do we do? Do we have to stir, stir until stir or mix? Until it's soft dough. I believe, right? I'm just using a fork. It doesn't say to um, stir or uh, mix, like mixer. No. This you're just making a dough. Eventually, we're gonna have to use our hands. Oh, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> pretty sure it's getting kind of messy. See, doesn't it say press the dough? Press dough in a baking dish that has melted butter in it. Yep, so you're going to oh, pour that okay. melted butter in that dish okay. back there. Okay. And I'll bring the um, bowl up here. Huh? <laughs> I think we're doing this right, right? Mm. Okay, so this. Okay, wait. Oh, let me follow this. Falling off. Only this okay. Pinterest recipe went large, little better. Yeah. Oh God, this is so is this going to be one big square of a biscuit? And then we're going to cut it into nine yes. pieces. Yes. Correct. Okay. Yep. Okay. Correct. Yep. yep. I've seen that. Pressed down the big juices, mm -hmm. melted butter. You will probably like kind of like cornbread. Is sometimes made like this. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. Oh, so when you press it in, there might be butter still coming on top of the dough. That's fine. <laughs> okay. 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 So is this you ready for me to put in there? Before? Oh, we're supposed to you cut it before we even bake it. Out. Use yeah. a sharp sure knife to cut into right. nine squares and then bake it. Ten minutes. Rotate the pan and bake ten minutes more. If at any point while baking I've the butter is bubbling and browning, just use paper towel to dab it up. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I should have read the recipe before you choose it. definitely happy. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put this in there now, right? Right. Oh, boy. Correct. Ooh, this is Press dough fun. in. Okay. You will need to use your hand to evenly press it. There might be butter coming up on the dough, but that is fine, Pinterest says. Who said? Pinterest. Yeah, Pinterest. Oh, Pinterest. Our good friend. So use a hot, sharp knife. Bef not before just, we move on, because cool. you're using trademark terms, let's go to our legal department. <laughs> <laughs> Lawyer Jamie, are we allowed yeah, to you're have fine. it? <laughs> Legal says good. Let's Legal go. Legal says good. Okay. Oh my God. So it's okay if the dough um, See, might be so sticky. sticky. Yes. And the butter will be coming up on top of the dough. Sticky. That is fine. Okay, you like doing, this. Like oh. You are doing an amazing job. <laughs> that is great pressing. I love it. Perfect. Yeah, it says to use a hot, sharp knife, not just a cold temperature knife or a regular temperature, but hot, I sharp knife to cut even, in nine right? squares. Would you say that's pretty yeah. even? Yeah. Okay. Let me wash my hands. Okay. Put a knife in the microwave. Okay. Put them on the big and the big one. Use it This will probably do it. Okay. Biscuits are done when golden brown and spring back from touch. Oh, they want us to touch this. Okay. So we need to use um, a sharp knife now to cut it in the nine okay. before we bake it. In case you look at the base time. Okay, 450. Is that for yep. you? Yep. And it's for how long? 10 and 10, I think. Oh, right, right. Okay, 10, check it, 10 more. Okay. So where would the sharp knife be? Right back there. Okay. This? Oh, that's not a good knife. We know what a good knife sharp knife. That's not this is good. This is good. Hot. You want it hot. Yeah. Push it that way. That way it hot. does get very hot. Okay. Hot. Nice, sharp, hot knife. And then cut it now. Nine. Right, so <coughs> hand, but we're listening to the yeah. pinchers. I would do, yeah. One, two, do that. Three, four, five, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then three this way. Also known as three by three. <laughs> we're tic tac toe. Oh shoot! I it up. Wait, how hot's that knife? Oh, ouch! Wow, hot. it's scolding hot. Oof! I can see the heat coming off of it. <laughs> All right, so we're ready to clean the oven. I Half the biscuits fat. on the knife. Hold on, I lost it. Oh god, it's I lost okay. the recipe. Okay, I think we're putting it in the oven now. Okay, 450. We're gonna put it for 10 minutes. Oh look at that! Paladino Brothers Pizza right there. That looks good. One of these biscuits. You should gotta look at it. Oh, yep, we got it. Perfect. Okay. Timer. Is that 10 minutes? That's 9 minutes and 52 seconds. <laughs> How do you set it? Is You're, that clogged? No. Cook 
son. <laughs> Karen, Karen, you might want to help her. Okay. She's struggling. Oh. Wait, stop, stop, stop. Talk 10 minutes. No, wait. I usually do this. Timer. Oh. Oh, no, wait. No, now we're changing the whole time. Oh, my God. I hit time already. Okay. This is gold. Cancel it. This is gold. Bake. Bake. 450. Can you set a timer? Oh, sorry. No, we already did. No. How long? Time. 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 Okay, let's take a break now. Wait 10 minutes until the heat cooks. It's going to be delicious with the chili. Let me stir the chili while you're coming by me. <laughs> oh, two things we won't be able to eat tonight. I'm not sure. Did you take a look at this turkey chili? Healthy. Oh, turkey it chili. Tur oh, I was not using ground beef. No way. That's too much saturated fat. Ground turkey, kidney beans, chili powder, diced tomatoes, little tomato sauce from the jar. <laughs> All right, that is looking good. And then we're going to have a little bit of chili bar going with that. Okay, there's two seconds left. At this point, we are going to, um, just hit that. We are going to rotate it, it says. And dab off any bubbling leather, but I really don't think. No, but it's going to be coming soon. Yep. I think so, another 10 minutes will do it. Do you think. We'll have, wait, maybe I'll rotate it a okay. full turn. Okay. And we will have delicious biscuits with the chili. Okay, so now timer. Oh. Take it up to 10 and then timer again. I'm just listening. Timer again. There you go. Okay, we are good to go. Okay, now back to this. While you're up. Okay, the biscuits are done. Let me show you what they looked like here. And we already cut a few, and the men are going to taste right now. So everybody here has had positive things to say about it, but let's wait to see exactly what it does taste like. They put ketchup on their spaghetti, some of those people. <laughs> When you when you t tear open a biscuit, you see layers of fluffiness, flaky. This that is, yeah, if you buy Pillsbury, of course this, you do. This, this is not flaky. It's not flaky. It's more dense. It's more, it's more like a cake. doughy, like a. Doesn't taste bad. Very buttery. No, okay. it's buttery. It's buttery. Buttery. It's good. But almost like a dumpling. Yeah, I would say a dumpling. Yeah, like a like a cake. It's very cake. Hey, a cake, you like a cornbread. I'll yeah. give it on, on on ten being the best biscuit. This is a solid five point three. No, I would have to say halfway. I would have to say for taste. Well, we'll let our fellow YouTubers would, would check say, it out because everyone else here loved them except for you two. I, I would say on a taste factor, on a scale of one to ten, it's a solid eight. But if I'm looking at a biscuit where I'm thinking fluffiness and layers, it would be more Come like out. a five on the biscuit scale. But oh, overall okay. taste, an eight. Thanks for your opinion. Bye. And we'll see you next time on Cooking with Our Wives. <laughs>